Howdy Havasu Insurance fans, I'm Harold Sharp with Havasu Insurance and today we are going to talk about umbrella insurance. Obviously this isn't the thing you carry over your head as you're walking down the street in the rain. This is about having additional insurance coverage for bodily injury claims. And bodily injury claims are when you make the mistake of having an accident where it's your fault or a portion of it's your fault and those go above certain policy limits. There's two different types of umbrella policy, one's for business and one's for personal. Right now we're gonna just talk about personal. So if you actually happen to have a business, this is not about your business. This is only about personal lines. When you have an umbrella policy, the umbrella policy can cover all the different items that you have insured. However, you have to meet certain requirements for that. And in addition to that, you have to make sure they are listed on your umbrella policy. You can't just say, oh, I got an umbrella policy and that covers everything. That's not how it works. First thing, it can cover your boats, your jet skis, your ATVs, your motorcycle, your house, your cars, which is kind of cool. Where does it go from and to and what does it really mean? Well, generally on these policies, the car, the boat, the house, the cars, the motorcycle, you have to have a $500,000 minimum. And if you looked at our other videos of getting insurance, this is that line right there, that $500,000 minimum. This is what may enable you to get an umbrella policy. One of the other things, the other caveats of getting an umbrella policy is whether or not you have tickets, accidents, losses, and claims. If you do have those things, chances of getting an umbrella policy gets very tough to get. But if you don't have those things, getting an umbrella policy is a great thing to have. Now I'm going to give you a roundabout idea of how much it costs for an umbrella policy. We talked about the 500000 If you wanted to go 500000 to $1 million, the average roundabout cost, this is not a quote, this is just a random number I'm picking out of the sky. Everybody gets quoted a different number, but some people go like, I wanna know how much that's gonna cost me. It's gonna cost you about 350 bucks a round to go from 500,000 to a million, and about $100 for a million more. So if you wanted to get from 500,000 to 2 million, it would probably cost you around $450. These are roundabout numbers. This is not exact number. It's not a quote given to you. Now I want you to think about this. You're driving down the road and you get into an accident. You're in your car and you're cruising. And in that accident, someone gets hurt and it's your fault. You went over the double line, something happened, and there's a large claim. And that claim is not 500,000. And especially it's not gonna be 500,000 if you get attorneys involved and someone got hurt bad. It's gonna be in the millions. A lot of smart people I know start off with $2 million umbrellas. It's easy to get somewhere between two and five million, and you can go even higher than that if you wanted to. But a good coverage around amount, amount that people ask me, where do you start? I tell people get two million. If you're not comfortable with that, get higher. And think about what you're getting covered for. You're getting covered so you don't lose your assets and get sued for some god awful amount. But it doesn't mean you get to go run off, you know, go crazy when you're driving. It means you're still a responsible driver, just in case you get into an accident, it's considered your fault. So we talked about how much it costs for an umbrella. Now, we're talking about one policy that covers all the different items. If you have the minimums in line, the house, the car, the boat, the jet skis, the motorcycle. But remember, the more toys you have, the more it's gonna go up. And if you have a bunch of toys, like for some reason you have three boats, they may not cover you. They think thinking you've got way too many boats for the average person. Or if you've got more than a few cars, and there's only a husband and wife, and you got five cars, they may not wanna cover you. So it's people that have a good concentric of assets that they wanna have covered while they're driving and make sure everybody's on the policy. Then you want to make sure that those items are on your umbrella policy. So when you go from 500,000 to let's say 2 million, which is just a roundabout average number that people get, uh, 
and you have that coverage for, we'll say, 450 bucks a year, it's not a bad way to go. And it covers all the items on there from that 500,000 to 2 million, so long as they allow it. Now, there can be exceptions to the rule. If you happen to have a speed racing boat, something that does well over 100 miles an hour, they're not gonna allow that. It, it just, it's not, you know, the average family type boat or whatever they're gonna wanna call it. It's a racing boat. They're just not gonna do that. So it gives you an idea. If you have an average vehicle, it's not modified or that sort of thing. You can probably get into the umbrella coverage so long as you don't have tickets, losses, accidents, claims, DUIs, that sort of thing. I'm Harold Sharp, and I'm with Havasu Insurance, and I'm trying to give you an idea of how to get very good coverage of insurance. And again, this is bodily insurance unto others, and that's what umbrella policies are about. My phone number is 928-846-8003, and we represent good people in California, Arizona, Nevada, Utah, and Colorado. Thank you.